Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. You know, I'm quite excited tonight because I just found out that uh, our program is now being shown in another foreign country. Now, this makes uh, five countries that see my television show. And naturally, uh, in these foreign countries, we have different sponsors than we have here. Like, for instance, in Mexico, I was sponsored by a company that makes a tamale cooked in wine sauce. <laughs> it's called the Jolly Tamale. <laughs> Then in uh, Japan, we are sponsored by a company that manufactures the, a Harry Carey pocket knife. <laughs> Since I've been on, we can't make them fast enough. There. <laughs> sort of get you right here, you know. <laughs> then let's see where, oh yes, in India, I am sponsored by an oxen deodorant. <laughs> I mean, it's not, a, uh, it's not a powder or a cream or a spray. You just pull out the pin, count three, and throw it. On the air, you'll cut your monologue right here. Well, why? Well, I we'll always have to cut my jokes while we're rehearsing right now. I mean, why don't you cut something else? If I had a hairy carry knife, I would. <laughs> All right, everybody, take five. Five minutes. Look, at well, as long as this is a rehearsal, why don't we just go through the show? Because we're supposed to rehearse Dennis Day's number next, and he's not here. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Here I am. It's my show. I'm always on time. I can't find Dennis. Uh, he's Mr. always Benny. late. Uh, Mr. Benny, yeah. uh, I'm a new stagehand here. Uh, I, I, I've been an admirer of yours for years and years, and I, I thought maybe you'd give me your autograph. Well, yes. Yes, I'll be... I'll be glad to, yeah. Uh, write it to me personally. <laughs> to you, okay. Uh, I say, what's your name? Hyman. Hyman E. Vitexaflus. <laughs> <laughs> Herman what? What was that last name? Vitexaflus. <laughs> <laughs> Herman E. Vitexaflus. I see. I see. Wow. <laughs> how do you how do you spell that? Uh, v e r d e x i p h l u s j k. Vodexaflus. Jug. Jodexaflus. Strange bunch of letters there. How'd you ever How'd you ever get a name like that? Oh, well, my father used to make eye charts. <laughs> I'll try. It's kind of a hard. Those are letters are hard to write. Uh, it's easier if you cover one eye. Dex the flux jerk. I got this. Did I spell it right? Yeah, um, most of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you spell Hyman wrong. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, I've been a great admirer of yours for years and years. Yo, Big thanks, fan. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Very, very nice. <laughs> well, I've seen everything. Now, Don, will you finish the sandwich so we can get going with our rehearsal? We got a big show coming on. Well, Jack, if this is such a big show, how come you hired a magician nobody ever heard of? Because this magician I hired is absolutely wonderful. I saw him the other night. We're very fortunate that we've got him. Where'd you find him? You know where I found I'll tell you where I found him. You know, the other night, I was working very, very late in my office, you see. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Want by? Yeah. <laughs> and I was working late. So I was driving home, you know, afterwards. And then, just for a little relaxation, you see, as I usually do. Some more? No, no, thank you. <laughs> for rela uh, relaxation, I stopped in Ben Blue's nightclub. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Well, good evening, Mr. Benny. How many tonight? Oh, I'm alone. Again? <laughs> what do you mean, again? I came in here early last night, and I brought a girl with me. 
bringing the hat check girl to work doesn't count. <laughs> well, never mind. Just show me to my table, will you please? All right, right down there, second table on the right. There's your menu. <laughs> When you don't tip, you get nothing. <laughs> oh, well, I'm used to it. Hello, Mr. Benny. I saw you come in, so I brought you your usual drink. <laughs> well, this is a nightclub, and we don't want anybody to know you're drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> If you can smuggle it in, will you bring me another marshmallow? <laughs> Do you think you can handle it? <laughs> Just go and get it, sir. Get it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's showtime at Ben Blue's Supper Club. And we start our show by presenting the world's greatest prestidigitator, manipulator, and mentalist of all time. This man has baffled the nation with his predictions. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the world's greatest magician, Chandu. Let's bring him out here. Careful, that delicate brain of yours. <laughs> Shandu Sahib. Sahib. Ah, it's good to have you back again. It's nice to return to these parts, my good man. It's so nice to see that smiling face of yours. It's nice to see your smiling sister, too. <laughs> <laughs> Shandu, I understand that you've traveled extensively. This I have no less. I have this no less. This I have no less. You've been... Uh... I have no less. We've gone to some animal beasts. This I have no less. This I know I that you've traveled. <laughs> this I have. I have this. <laughs> Side. You did. <laughs> this. Would you like to tell the lovely ladies and gentlemen where you've been? No. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Shandu will now answer any question on any subject. Biology, astrology, or nuclear physics. Where you're from, your next governor, anything, your price of your admission, anything. Just anything at all. Any, yes. Are you ready? I'm always ready. You're always you. ready. Oh, Shandu? Huh? I have a young lady. Oh, send her up. No. <laughs> Shandu, quickly, I want you to tell me this young lady's name. The little lady's name is starting to come to me. Her name is, uh, let me see now. Her name is, uh, Cosgrove. No. Joe Cosgrove. False. Joe Cosgrove. No. Frank Cosgrove. No. Dexter Cosgrove. Oh. Mordecai Cosgrove. Uh, Andy Cosgrove. Uh, just, just a moment. It's not Cosgrove. Think of that. Isn't that yeah. <laughs> It's a girl's name, a simple name like Helen or Mary. Oh, Helen? No. Mary? No. <laughs> Try Francis. Uh, Francis. No. <laughs> Francis. <laughs> Look, it's very simple. I'll give you a little hint. All right. The little lady's name is associated with a train. Oh, somebody with a train. Her name is Baggage? Yeah. <laughs> She's sitting there with her husband. Excess Baggage? <laughs> Something to do with a train. Oh, I see. Her name is Small Trunk? No. Caboose. Sports. Hot Rod? No. Observation Platform? Incorrect. Somebody with a train. No, no, you're not conscious. Choo -choo. No. Ooh, ooh. Shen Du, look, it's very simple. Really? Something to do with a train, right? All right. Upper and lower. Gums? Yeah. <laughs> Her name is Berber Bird? No. Her name is Berbacher. No, no, Berber Berbacher. No, no, Berber Berber. Her name is Remokabul. Ah, Berber Berber Bagabube. I'm gonna get headed with this. Her name is Red. Why did you pick her? Sandra, you're not concentrating. It's very simple. Look. B E. Her name is Bertha. Right, there you are. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'd, I'd like to do something for you I think is very strange and mystifying. And this trick here, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll be sure that I do not use any of my own help, so I will ask for volunteers from the audience. Anybody, any, uh, please, will somebody uh, please step up from the stage here? Uh, uh, that el elderly gentleman right there drinking a hot chocolate. <laughs> How did he know? Do you mind helping that elderly gentleman up, please? <laughs> right this way, sir. I don't need any help. Just watch my drink. Yes. Do you think you can make it? 
Thank you, Brad. How do you do, sir? How do you do? What is your name? Benny. Jack Benny. Oh, I see. Have, uh, have you ever seen me before? No, no, I haven't. Have you ever heard of me? No, no. That makes us even. <laughs> yes, now, uh, we'd like to do a little trick here. We have right here a bag. This is known as a laundry bag. Now, the idea here, I'll get into the bag. When I say ready, I jump out. And would you mind examining that, please, here? Just examine the bag. Well, it seems like just a laundry bag. An ordinary laundry bag, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the gun. Now, when I say shoot, you just fire away. Now, don't shoot till I say ready, please. Now, wait a minute. This is no trick. You're not fooling anybody. There are blanks in here. There's one in every audience. <laughs> here, watch this. Hey, come here, will you? Bring it out here. Watch this. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> now, when I say ready, please, go right ahead. Ready! <coughs> Ready! Yeah, I just, I just can't pull the trigger. You've had too many marshmallows. <laughs> I had four. Please, would you mind shooting that thing? Are you ready, Shandu? I'm ready! Wonderful. Mr. Benny, Mr. Benny. Well, kid, it's about time you got here. Well, I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Benny, but look, I, I've got a note from my mother. <laughs> a note from your mother, huh? What, am I a school teacher or something? <laughs> says, Please excuse my son, Dennis, for being late, but this morning we had to rush him to the hospital and have his appendix taken out. <laughs> Dennis, your mother has a wonderful sense of humor. This is, this is a very, very funny letter. Yeah, it sure is. Now, why aren't you laughing? It'll break the stitches. <laughs> now, cut that out. That's what they did. Dennis, I want to, I want to ask you something. If you, if you had your appendix taken out this morning, how could you possibly do a show here this afternoon? Oh, I can sing, but don't ask me to dance. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> oh, the stitches! Now stop with that silly talk! Jack, Jack. What? Uh, Shandu just arrived. He's in his dressing room. The magician? Yes. Oh, is he here? Yes, and oh. he asked me to give you his card. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Oh, Shandu. Well, I'm busy. That's a very, very good trick. Can I put it in your show? No, no, no. Listen, the only thing I want in my show, I just want that laundry rag tape. That's oh, all. That's easy, Jack. You can do it yourself. It's bulletproof. What? <laughs> bulletproof. You, you mean that that a bullet can't go through this material? That's right. Oh, Brad, I thought it was just an ordinary laundry bag. My goodness, I. I was, I'm amazed. I was, I was surprised when you jumped out of it alive. Jack, nobody can jump out of a bag like I do. That's the exciting part of the trick. I get in, I stay ready, gunshots, I jump out, voila. <laughs> no, well, we must do it. We must do it on our show. It's oh, just one. I have one more trick. No, 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 I, I just want this Jack Just trick. a second. No, 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 I don't want any other this trick. This is easy. I hang by my teeth. I've I know, but I don't want it. I just hold want this for you, please. Just hold this thing. Well, look, Ben, Let I me don't... show it to you, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want this. Just go ahead. But Ben, oh, I don't want it. Jack, you better get dressed around the air so What? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I'll take it out. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but look at Ben. You better be ready. Now, don't forget, be ready right, right as soon as you can, Shandu, because we have, you know, this goes on right after my monologue. Okay, I'll be ready. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I'll practice jumping in the bag. And jumping up, too. Like <laughs> You know, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you many more jokes, but I'm very, very anxious for you to see one of the greatest tricks that has ever been Jack, known, Jack, has ever been seen on any Jack, stage. Jack, Jack, uh, I see you a minute. Uh, excuse me, just, just a moment. moment. What is it, Jack, Jack, I've looked all over for Shandu, and I can't find him anywhere. But Shandu, I, I just left him in the dressing room. He's not there. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, Don, you entertain the audience. I'll go out and look for him. All right, all right, hurry up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, while Jack is gone... <laughs> Man, he sure used a lot of towels this week. Shandu, Shandu, Shandu. Oh, for heaven's sakes, let me go when I need it. Mr. Benny, Mr. Well, Benny, Don is running out of fat jokes. You better get back out on the stage. <laughs> well, what good did that do? This is where I told the audience that we were going to have Shandu out there with that, with that wonderful trick, and he's disappeared. Oh, my gosh, what are we going to do? You told the audience we were going to show him a great trick. I don't know what I'm going to do. I... Hey, wait a minute. There's the gun, <laughs> and, and there's the bag. He told me I could do it myself. Well, it's the cinch. Dennis, you go out and tell Don Wilson to introduce Shandu. Oh, but you know, Mr. Benny, you... Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. He told me I could do it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Hurry up. Tell Don to introduce Shandu. Oh, brother, what you have to go through to put on a television show is... Oh, I don't know. Maybe this will calm me down a little bit. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, to get on with the featured part of the show. As Mr. Benny promised, you are about to see the most fantastic magician in the world. The one and only Shandu! <laughs> I am Shandu the Magician. I will now do the most mystifying trick ever brought to you from the Orient. But first, I will need my assistant. Now, my assistant will get into this plain, ordinary laundry bag, and while he's in there, I will fire four or six bullets right into the... Come back here! I'm not gonna get in that bag and let you shoot six bullets through me. I'll get killed. Dennis, Dennis, this isn't, this isn't a laundry bag. This is bulletproof. Don't worry. Now get in. Oh, no, not me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will get into the bag, and my assistant will shoot six bullets into me. I sure hope my mother is watching. I will get into the bag. And when I say fire, fire. Ready, fire. Well, go ahead, you stupid kid. When I say ready, fire. Ready. 
Why aren't they applauding? I missed the bag. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, now we have to do it over again. For heaven's sake, aim right at me, will you? Aim steady. Okay, now when I say ready, fire. <laughs> ready. Did you say that laundry bag was bulletproof? Yes. Well, take a look in the bag. There's, there's four bullet holes in it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mr. Vinny, your wallet saved your life. Yeah. You could have been killed. I know. See, I had $500 in there. <laughs> Dennis! Look at you, ruined my money! You couldn't aim for my head, could you? No, you couldn't aim for my head. You and your stupid aim. You had to ruin my money. All you had to do was aim for my head. That's it. That's it. You're the Jack will be back with his guest star, Ben Blue, in just a moment. But first... Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed the show. And now I'd like to bring out for a bow my guest star who played Chandu, Mr. Ben Blue. <laughs> How did you learn a silly dance like that? Who taught that? Well, Jack, for your information, I was taught by, I think, the world's greatest Terpsichorean artist. Oh, Nijinsky? No. Arthur Murray? No. Try Cosgrove. <laughs> Cosgrove? No. <laughs> anyway, thanks very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Don Wilson saying good night.